All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Zakaria and the brother Yawadat coming at you from GMS Atlanta Church. And first and foremost, want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakhakodash. We're going to get into today. Oh, it's a lot. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay. Real well. We're going to get into um, basically, you know, order. Okay. Or being obedient. And you, you have an order and being obedient is you being a man. Okay. Uh, so can you get that um, Ecclesiasticus 12 and verse 13 for me? Okay, that's right. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah. And right there it says fear Yahweh, the most high. Because he give you an order. You're supposed to do that order, and if you don't do that order, you gonna fear him, and he gonna okay. make sure his fear is known, man. Cause okay. that's that's the almighty, um, almighty power, okay. coming from heaven above, the Father. That's right. And you got Yahweh Shah and his man and his woman. You can continue on. Okay. And it says in verse 14 it says, "For the power shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil." So it don't matter what you do, he's still going to judge you. Like it said in verse 13, do his commandments. And that's an order. He didn't He didn't ask it like it was a question. He said, do his commandments. And that's you obeying Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh and, and his men. You know, that's the order. And can you bring out that um, Corinthians for me? Okay. No verse. Uh, it's um, 1 Corinthians 14. Not 14, slot. 15. Uh, actually, it is 14. 14 to 40. Okay. Huh. It's 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, and it says, Let all things be done decently and in order. And there it is right there. Okay. Huh. What he what he read in the previous verse was an order. To do his commandments. And, and um to do his commandments is to do this book right here. Following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, don't, it, don't the scripture says that he come in the volume of a book? Okay. You know, him saying that in his book. So you gotta listen. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, bring it out, brother. Come on. It's, uh, it's Joshua um, chapter 1, verse 18. And it says, Whosoever he be that doth rebel, re uh, rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words, and all that thou commandest him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of a good courage. And there it is right there. If you don't follow this order, if you be dis um, disobedient, you're going to be put to death. God. And it's, it's going to be ten times worse because you knowing you're an Israelite, and you knowing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh true name, that is his name. God. The Father and the Savior, man. Do his commandments. That's right. He, he commanded us to go on the highways and byways. He commanded us to love our brothers. And be or in order. In order, man. Okay. That's a simple order. Okay. He commanded us not to get trim ups, not to get haircuts, not to eat shrimp and pork and lobster, man. That's a commandment. Okay. That's actually in the uh, Torah, man. Leviticus, man. So those are the commandments. And if you disobey those commandments, if you break that law, you're going to be put to death. And he said it in. In his own book, man. He come in the volume of a book once again. This is him saying that. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And um, Baba Shah, if you can bring out that Isaiah 1 and, and start at 19. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. And it says, If ye be willing and obedient... Ye shall eat the good of the land. Yeah. If you be obedient, you shall eat good of the land, man. Just like it says uh, in Hebrews, if you endure until the end, you're going to get those rewards, man. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Keep enduring, man. Keep fighting. Keep going. Keep being obedient. Keep being brother, um, brotherly. That brotherly love, man. God. Keep keep helping um, the man feeding the flock. And being diligent, keep spreading that love and the power in the name of Yahweh Shah. 
and you're going to eat good, man. Oh, that's right. This man. is that bread of life, and that, that's right. and that water, man. That's right. You're going to drink and eat good, man. He's going to continue to give you that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thus says the Lord. That's right, man. And you can continue on, Bible Gusha. Okay. And it says, verse 20, But ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Heavenly Father has spoken it. And you shall be devoured by the sword, man. Once again, if you disobey this order, we're not asking um, the apostles that's ahead of us is not asking for too much. Yahweh by Shimei Shah isn't asking for too much. Come. It's just simple things, man. Put out your videos, man. You know, always you should always have Yahweh by Shimei Shah on your mind, man, so right. you won't fall off, man. Come. Come. If you feel like you're going to fall off, pray. Come. <laughs> simple as that, man. Come. That's right, man. Don't be disobedient, man. If a brother um rebuke you, take that rebuke because rebuke is really love. Come. If I could say, hey, man, listen, Come. bro. If you have any type of issues, man, hey, being brotherly is actually something that'll uplift your spirit and get you out of those demons that you're dealing Come on, with. Man. Come so, on. like the brother said, pray. The spirits to get off you. You know what I'm saying? Those demons will leave you. Mm -hmm. And um, seek counsel. You know what I'm saying? Because if you actually be around the, the the congregation, if you actually be around the brothers, you're going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Trust me, man. Your, 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 your spirit will feel much more cleansed. Exactly, man. Because once again, you know, this is that breath of life, man. You're going to feel cleansed, man. Come on, come on. You're going to feel that living power inside of you again, man. Yasharala, man. That's right, man. You're going to feel that power in the name of Yahweh by Shimei That's right. Come on, and come I on. believe that. That's and right. you got to believe it, too. That's right, man. Come and bring on. out your last precept, Bapak Come on, come on. You know, just staying on the, um, you know, mm -hmm. on the order of things, but at the same time, let you know, like, if you got a problem with this order... Cause I know Apostle Ramla um put out the Ramla put out the video about you know like listen here man listen to this if your brothers got problems with orders or or you know you talking about brothers back or anything that those problems they're not really about to to the men you know what I'm saying um that you're dealing with in the camps is it's to, really to the Heavenly Father you know what I'm saying so this is Exodus 16 verse 8 and it says and Moses said this shall be when the heavenly father shall give you in the evening flesh to eat and in the morning bread to to the full for that the Lord this is the point for that the heavenly father um slag yeah I just lost my spot oh for for that the heavenly father heareth your murmurings which ye murmur against him and what are we your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's all that, you know, that. Mm, mm. Yeah, come, come. Oh, I don't, I don't trust this brother. Come, man. come. Just, you know, the Lord just showed us mercy, man. He's been showing us mercy. Come. You know what I'm saying? You know, something going on in the camp, man. Have mercy on that brother. That's brotherly love, man. Come, that's right, man. Who are we to say, oh, what's wrong with him? Come. When we all committed sin, man. That's right, man. Transgressions. Hey, man. That this this spirit was 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 here tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? Come. In in this class, Come. man, because the apostles, you know, gave gave their their uh their wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, tonight to the brothers of um GMS Atlanta. You know, um, not to go too deep into things or what's going on in the camp, but you know, they gave us. You know, beautiful doctrine, man. You know what I'm saying? To follow. So that's why we're doing this video to, under, to, to let you understand there is an order to these things, man. And when you murmur, which is, you know, you scoffers, you brothers talking shit behind uh, each other's back and stuff. Listen, man, you're doing that to the Heavenly Father. You're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? You're doing that to Yahweh Shah. You're not doing that right. to, to the brothers. Um, I mean, you're doing it to the brothers in the flesh, too. But at the same time, man, your murmurs are going up to the to them angels, man. And those that word is getting back mm -hmm. to the Happy Father. So, you know, you got it, brother. Kind. And yeah, that's um what we basically wanted to bring out, man. You know, staying obedient. You know, don't be disobedient. Because um, it's kind, a fearful kind. thing to fall in the hands into the Lord, man. Kind, that's right. Him, you know, dealing with you himself. I'd rather take a rebuke from a brother than the most high, man. Kind. It's a fearful thing. And that's all that, um we got to say. And first and foremost, we want to give all praise unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Once again, this is the brother Zakaria and, and the brother Dot Khan coming at you from the GMS Church of Atlanta. Okay. And we hope that you um hopeful out, out there got edified. And once again, double honor to the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone. We're well. 
Shalom. Shalom.